Hi, it's Corrine, and I am here with a silhouette tutorial. If you follow my Smashbook series, I have a video of a Smashbook um, that I just uploaded, and I'll put a link in the description box below for that. I did a lot of my cuts for that Smashbook page in my Silhouette Cameo, and like I mentioned in that video, I would show you, for those of you that are interested, how to do that. So. Um, I did prepare a few things here, and let me just show you a picture of the Smashbook page that I'm referring to. So as you can see, there are several die cuts on there. And again, I'm gonna show you exactly how I set this up. So the first thing I did is I pre-plan this Smashbook page. So the Smashbook page is approximately 13 and a half inches tall by nine and three quarters inch wide. So I made myself a border here that is 13 and a half by nine and three quarters. That way I could get a visual of what I wanted. I decided I wanted three photos and a journaling card all at three by four. And this is exactly where I print my pictures from. So I printed out, I made little three by four boxes, added my photos in, and I'm going to show you how I did my journaling card. I did leave one of the boxes, um, one of the uh, photos undone, just so I could show you here how to do that. And I'm gonna quickly go through this. I do have another video where I go through this a, a little bit slower and in more detail. But basically you wanna um, add a rectangle, whatever size that you want, with this rectangle tool over here on the left. I made mine three by four. Now you wanna go up to the top left under File, select Merge, choose Libraries, Pictures, and now choose which file you want. I'm going here. And now you wanna choose the photo you want, drag it to that box, hold it over that box for a minute until you see it, and let it go. Then go ahead and hit Cancel. So these are the exact three photos that I printed out, and I set them up on my my layout to try and visualize it. So the last thing I did here is I wanted a journaling spot. So I'm going to highlight my box, go up to my fill pattern window, and right here I have a black and white striped photo. So I added that to my three by four journaling card. I'm gonna go over here to advanced options, scroll down, and I scaled my pattern down. I believe I scaled it to about 75%. Yeah, but I didn't like how it had a real thin black border here and a thicker black border here. So I'm going to select Pan Pattern, and I'm going to pan that down just slightly. And now I have a little bit more of an even border at the top and bottom. So once I was happy with that, I chose some words. This here, let me fill it all in black so you can see. These words here are meant to um, probably break up and use them in different things, but I thought it was cute to just add directly onto the journaling card. So let me zoom in. What I did is I left them just as they were and I just dragged down the right corner of the box to drag them down. And now I am going to put, place them on my journaling card the size that I want, which I was happy with that there. But the first thing, let me move this out of the way so I can grab it. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to tie in the same color of what I was using. So here's another silhouette cut that I used on my page. And I loved the pink in this, so I decided to tie in that pink. So you want to go to your fill color window at the top here in the center. It's going to open up this box. This little tool is an eyedropper tool. So you can pick up whatever color you want once you select that. So again, having my words selected, I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool. And now I can use whatever color I hover over. And I chose this pink here, so I'm going to select it. And now as you can see, it turned them pink. So let me move back over a little here. I'm going to grab both my journaling box and my words, highlight both of them. I'm going up here to the top right where it says open the align window, and I'm going to select center. That will automatically select, center my words on my journaling card. And now I'm going to the bottom left and selecting group. 
you can also get to that by right clicking and choosing group. So now this is exactly how I have it set up on my page. The next thing I wanted to do and show you is this happy birthday. Let me move this out of the way. This happy birthday, I wanted a very large title for my page. So I chose this block style lettering. So I'm going up here to the rotate window and I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. And I, I just kind of held it up to my photos and sized it what I thought looked good against my photos. I wanted it pretty much to go across my entire page. So I believe I had it like right about there. Again, I just was going off my, my mat. But I also want to, I wanted to add layers to this. So I need to ungroup this since the happy and the birthday are grouped together. I'm going to select ungroup and now it releases the happy from the birthday. The next thing I want to do is hit duplicate two times because I wanted three layers of this birthday. So I left those to cut out in white cardstock. This I'm going to cut out in white cardstock as well, but I also wanted day, if you saw in the photo, to be that same pink. So I'm going to ungroup this, choose the word day, and duplicate day and set that aside. Let me go ahead and regroup that day. That way I don't, I can move it around without losing any pieces. And I'm also going to regroup this word birthday for the same reason. I don't want to lose any of my pieces. So if you notice, I had a border at the bottom of this, which kept the word all together. Because some of the letters are connected like the R and the T and the D and the A are connected, but the other letters are not connected. So for two reasons, I wanted to leave them connected and give myself a border to tuck under my photo when I was adding it to my page. So I simply am going to grab my draw a rectangle and I'm just going to simply draw out a rectangle that is about the same size as my lettering. You can do it as wide as you want. Mine was probably close to probably maybe an inch and a quarter. So now I'm going to zoom in on this so we can see a little bit better. And now I simply just push it to the word birthday, but then I use my arrow keys to just slightly overlap them. I don't want to overlap them too much, but I wanted to slightly overlap them. So now that I've done that, I'm going to highlight both of them. And right here, I'm going to select weld. Again, you can right click and select weld. So now, as you can see, I have welded that birthday on there. Therefore, when I go, sorry, let me scoot back over. When I go to place it on my page, it has a large center that I can add my glue to and tuck it right under. And let me, let me add white to this so you can see it a little bit better. Now I was able to There we go, I, I centered it um, too far back. But basically I was able to tuck that right behind my photo. The next thing that I did is I wanted to change that day into the exact same pink that we have here. So I'll do the same thing I simply did earlier. I will highlight the word day. I will go over here to the right, grab my eyedropper tool and select that pink. And now when I glued it on there, I glued it right over that. Lastly. I use the word happy. Let me turn this happy back around another 90 degrees back to where it was. And I did not want the word happy to be as large. So I printed that out in pink as well. So let me do that quickly here. Again, grabbing my eyedropper tool, selecting the same pink. And then I just eyeballed it to how big I wanted it on my page. And I think I had it just about maybe that size. And then once I cut all these out, I added all these layers to, together. And then I added them to the top of the birthday. So it gave me a much more uh, a thicker word. And then I added the word day to the top so it popped off just slightly. And then tucked those behind my photo. And that's all there was to it. Um, again, I'll add a picture one more time showing you how I use these 
in my scrapbook page. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I really hope that this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching.